there, I'm Julie Rod with Revenue.com and I have a real estate investing video tip for you today. One of the questions we always get asked is how do I find great real estate deals? And the answer is you don't find them, you create them. And one of the best ways to create them is through the negotiation process. So what do you need to do? Well, it's not just about putting offers out there and putting a whole bunch of them out there. It's about figuring out why somebody has to sell and solving that problem. Because it's not always about price. Listen, a lot of times it is about price and people get really hung up over $1,000. But when you find the right deals or the right opportunities and you come to the table prepared for that negotiation, you can create great deals by solving problems. I'll give you an example in a, sec in a second. But here's the three things you need to prepare. Number one, you wanna figure out why the person has to sell. So what are they coming to the table looking for? Number two, what problems do you have to solve? Number three, what do you need to get out of this negotiation? What's your timing, what's your price, or do you need certain terms to make this work for you? Again, it's not always about price. A lot of times you can create really fantastic deals for yourself by getting creative with the terms that you ask for that either give you financing, maybe give you a little bit of time to tackle things or the ability to show to prospective tenants so the day you buy it, you are putting tenants in place so you have no lag time. But let me give you an example of where we've done this and it was a fantastic result for us. We found this awesome home and we found out that it was an estate sale. So we asked as many questions as we could of the realtor. Uh, we popped in on the open house. We asked our realtor to ask certain things. And through a couple of days of uh, investigation, we found out it was uh, two sisters who were selling um, their brother's home. He'd passed away and uh, they had to sell it. Now they were coming from a ferry ride, a two hour ferry ride and a five hour drive away and they were elderly and this guy had lived in this house for over 30 years and had a ton, a ton of stuff, pictures, books, furniture, it was packed. So we, we figured a couple of things. Number one, what are they gonna do with all this stuff? Number two, because it was an estate sale and they were having to come from out of town to deal with it, they were gonna wanna get, get this house sold quickly, we figured based on all the information we gathered. So our offer was quite aggressive on the price side. We went for a, a discount below the list price and, uh, and definitely below what it was worth. But we attempted to solve their two problems by offering a fairly quick closing, as well as we said, listen, we'll deal with whatever you guys don't want. So leave the house with whatever furniture, books, junk that you don't want to get rid of, we'll take care of it. Guess what? They accepted our offer and we got a fantastic house that we renovated and added a legal suite to that makes us great money every day. And all we had to do was ask some questions, be curious, not too intrusive, but curious, and find out why they were selling and we created a great deal and we helped them get rid of a property and the junk quickly and painlessly. So I hope that helps you get out there and hunt down some great deals that you can create for your real estate portfolio that'll give you cash flow every month and build your wealth over time. See you next time. Oh, you might be wondering, what did you do with all of the junk? Well, it's such a cool little thing that we did. It was so awesome. All I did was run around the house and take pictures of a bunch of the things, the bookshelves, some of the leftover furniture, some of the books. I put some ads on Kijiji the night before with the pictures and said free. It will be at the curb at this address at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Come and get it. Pick it up and it's yours. And guess what? By 9.20 a.m. everything was gone. So all it cost me was about half an hour of putting the ads up and I uh, had to get a couple people to help me move the stuff out to the curb. And we dealt with all of it and we saved at least $10,000 on the purchase price by offering a quick, quick close and the removal of this junk. So pretty awesome deal and a pretty fantastic way to get rid of stuff. It's amazing the stuff people will take away when it's free, but <laughs> thought you'd wanna know. <laughs>